I can't believe I finally did it. I completed the epic 7-star Terra Raid in Pokemon Scarlet and captured a rare Dragon Terra type Charizard. With the help of my trusty friend Mouse and his level 100 Umbreon, we had a winning strategy. I used the light screen move and then fake tears three times to lower its special defense. Mouse's Sylveon then unleashed a powerful Hyper Beam attack, which was super effective thanks to its fairy type due to the pixelate ability. After an intense battle, I finally captured Charizard with the Premier Ball and proudly named it Sea Dog. Let's continue with today's video. All right, guys, up next is the uh, False Dragon uh, Titan. So, we're <laughs> so I started up here, and I am gliding down. This is going to be quite the journey. Uh, but, yeah, I have a new Charizard. I don't know if I'll use it. Charizard does have the Dragon uh, Terrestrialize, so I don't know if that's going to be super useful. I mean, it makes me weak, but also I vastly out outrank that uh, Dragon. My glide is uh, deteriorating. I'm not gliding as much as I want to be. Oh, no. That's okay. We can, we can hit it again. Here we go. Here we go. We are flying over a very grand area, I think. Is it this island right here, or is it the next island? I can't tell yet. But so far, yeah, the gl Wow, yeah. The glide doesn't work as long as you would like it to, ideally. What just happened? What just happened? I literally don't know what happened. Oh, I, it put me on the island. Perfect. I'll take it. <laughs> hey there, Z-Dog. So rumor has it the false dragon titan lurks somewhere in this lake, yeah? But not a single person's ever caught a glimpse of it. Must be some kind of truly terrifying beast, but how are we supposed to search for a thing when we don't even know what it looks like? Sure, it would be handy if I if it just ran around crying, I'm the titan or something. If only, right? Uh, Yeah, if only, right? Now, it, wait, it put me not... Okay, so now I've... All right, let's go. Let's go. How fast can you... Oh, there's stuff in the water. Shinies in the water. Excuse me. A pretty feather. A muscle feather. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm trying to get out here. Now, what would this so-called false dragon look like? And why would it be so false? Hey, I'm trying to get... I'm trying to get these muscle feathers. I got a clever feather too. And a health feather. Lots of feathers in the water. I guess that's just how it works. All right, so this is not quite where we want to be yet either. We want to go out even further. They wouldn't let me just fly there, but hey, it's a beautiful scene. I got a health feather. Let's, uh, oh here, another feather, right? A muscle feather. Muscle feather. All right, surely I'm gonna run into it, right? I mean, how big can this thing be? I mean, how small can it be, really? Because, I mean, I think I'm gonna just be able to find it. Who's that? Huh. Wow, all the way out here. Yeah, indeed. Where is, where is this Pokemon that I'm supposed to find? I honestly don't know. All right, well, hey, let's battle. Um, it might be in the water, as they hinted at earlier. So what's up, my dude? You've sure put in some effort coming all the way out here on your own little legs. It's okay. <laughs> I used a Pokemon, by the way. You were challenged by Cabby Oscar. How, how did you get here? Copperajaw. I forget what type Copperajaw is. Um, it's a level 54, though. Oof. What is Copper Jaw? Alright, that's not bad. Oh, dig. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. You know what I'm gonna do? Oh, whoa, whoa. Why, what? Why am I over here? <laughs> I'm right next to the guy. Weird. Uh, if you're gonna dig, I'm gonna fly out of here, dude. I'm not gonna be around when you pop back up. So let's see. I avoided the attack, of course, but you're not gonna avoid the fly. Boom! Not very effective, but that wasn't the point. Even though it was a critical hit. Dig again. We're on the same page here. <laughs> I'm gonna fly. You dig, I fly. That's how it works. All 
All right. There you go. There you go. Not very effective. Play rough. Oh, that's a rough one. Uh, let me switch Pokemon then. I really don't know. I mean, if he's using ground moves, is, is Copper Aja a ground? Let me just look him up. Copper Aja. Sometimes it'll just tell you. It's a steel type. So, I mean, I kind of had the right idea, right? Pokemon type chart. But, right, I, I don't even know what my idea was. Uh, steel, fire, fighting, ground. Let's switch to A Dog. All right. Ouch. Uh, lava plume. Hit him. Burn him up. Super effective. You gotta believe it. You gotta believe it. How many guys did you have out here, though? That's it. That's it. Nice. A dog. Whoa. A dog was 46. Those little legs hold up some some real great skills. Man, I am, if if this guy, why am I over here next to this guy? Let's, uh, let me heal. You can do an auto heal. I don't know how that works. Oh, auto heal? Auto heal you. There you go. Auto heal you. Sure, why not? Um, Sea Dog is really who we want. <laughs> so we, we want to put him in. There we go. Uh, where is this dragon, my dude? Is it out on the waters? I literally don't know where this... Wait a second. Is that it? Sushi. That's not it, is it? Wow. Uh, let's do uh, Dragon Pulse. That's not it, by the way. <laughs> I don't think. I don't know what I'm looking for. I don't know what kind of creature I'm looking for. I got no XP from that, by the way. It's here, though, right? I mean, supposedly. What are all these, like, fish that are just flopping around? I don't get it. I'm gonna go look around in the water, but if I if I don't see him soon, then I'm not gonna know where to find him. No one's ever seen it, right? So I mean, it's not so odd that I haven't seen it. I just don't know how far away from this area you can go. But if I see like a giant Pokemon, obviously, I'm gonna take it on, probably, right? Resist feather. Those guys aren't that big. How big are we talking here? That's the thing. How big are we talking here? Is it in the sky and I didn't realize it? No? The the distance that these Pokemon show up is not good enough. The, the, the draw distance on these Pokemon need to be way better, in my opinion. Oh, boy. This is a bit... Is this it? Is that it? That's not it, is it? Is that it? I'm, I'll, no, it's, that's not it. It could be it. Is it it? No. It is big, but it's not it. Hurricane. I don't know. Got him. Alright, that's not it. Okay, uh... Hmm... Well, I'm gonna keep looking around for it. I can promise you that. Oh my gosh! Okay, okay, that's it. That's gotta be the false dragon. Okay, wow. <laughs> uh, hi, Dondozo, the false dragon titan. We can do a... Let's do this. Dragon Pulse. 
Boom! That was a pretty heavy hit. Body slam's coming to me, though. Squish. I think Sea Dog's got you beat, my friend. I think Sea Dog's got you beat. All right. But I still gotta find you, right? Now he's going that way. I don't even know what to do at this point. It took me forever to figure out what to do. I was just looking and I, I was thinking maybe talk to these fish. Find the false dragon titan. Okay, so now what? Now it's out there swimming? Around. Is that it? <laughs> Is that it? That could be it. Alright. Uh, that's you, right? You're the one trying to get away, right? Well, guess what? I'm on your tail. Literally. Okay, I'm above your tail. What? How do I encounter you now? Oh, hey. You're not the one I'm looking for. I don't think. Crap, where'd he go? Crap, where'd he go? Where's the big one? Dang it. Is this the one? That's not the one. I, I literally just lost him, I think. Oh, my God. I think I just lost him. I was t following him just, just fine. I li was literally following him. Oh, hold on. Here we go. There he is. Right next to me. Nice. Go eat your mints or whatever. Z Dog, did you find the Titan? So that's it? Sure, sure is one big uh, dragon? Wait, is it even a dragon or is it a fish? I don't know. I have a dragon type, though. Huh? It eats fish. Well, fish eat fish. That makes sense. <laughs> the, the little sushi guy got eaten up by the Titan? Yeesh. Didn't expect to see the food chain in action today. All right. Here we go. I'm ready to fight him. I'm going to actually terrestrialize this guy because, I mean, I just got him. I want to see him in all of his glory. Let's terrestrialize and use a Dragon Ball to see what happens, dude. <laughs> this food chain's got me pretty fascinated. I'm going to dig in and make a meal of this battle. All right. I might be OP, like, for real, like, with this guy level 100. I just brought him because, I mean, Dragon, I was thinking Dragon versus Dragon would be good. I mean, I, I'm at a disadvantage too, but, you know, if I get, like, the first hit, then that's pretty good. Hit him. Boom. All right, finish him off, Arvin. Oof. Super effective against me. See what I mean? Take down. All right, almost finished him off. I'm going to have to finish him off, I think. Let's go with the Dragon Pulse again on Don Dozo. False Dragon Titan, baby. Gotcha. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? All right. Well, rest in peace, my friend. We did it, Z-Dog. Now that the Titan's taken care of, next up on the menu is that Urban Mystica. Hmm. Whoa, the little sushi guy escaped without becoming that thing's lunch. Ta-ta. Ta-ta-ta. What? Does that thing want to fight too? What? What has happened? What is happening? What? Well, I can't terrestrialize, or I can terrestrialize again. This Dragon Pulse is super effective. Wait, was this this was this the false dragon titan? I'm so confused. Whatever. I get to terrestrialize twice. I don't know how. I thought you only get to do it once. But I'll do it again. Getting to see Sea Dog in action is pretty cool. I got him at the right time. Dragon Pulse against Tatsugiri. There you go. Someone hit him. Someone else hit him, please. Oh, Dragon. No, Dragon Ball's hit. Not at me. At that guy. All right, good. Greedin got it. Not me. Take down. Got him. Yes. Awesome. Greedin was damaged by the recoil. So this little guy was the false dragon or whatever? He mad. All right, I got him. <laughs> what a titan. I'm just looking at his belly there. 
Well, there you go. There you go, indeed. So, um... What's at play now? Phew, nice job, Z-Dog. That's my hard-working little bud. Maybe the Titan was both those Pokemon together? Like some kind of combo meal? I don't know. You tell me. The little one came out of here, which means there should be some Urban Mystic inside. Let's go, Z-Dog. All right. I am confused as to which one was the real Titan. Or maybe they both were. That must be it. All right. The last Urban Mystica. All right, spicy Urban Mystica. Okay, let's see what the book has to say. So it seems spicy Urban Mystica is supposed to boost your metabolism. It gives you circulation a boost and helps flush out all those toxins along with a ton of sweat. Sounds real. You know what's next, it's chow time. All right, they're eating it up. Good for them. And here we go. Trusty Arvin's uh, Chaka Block Full of Cheer Final Herb Super Sandwich. Squeeze this badge tight and cry beautiful tears of friendship as you eat, okay? Well, there we go. We're gonna eat. Path of Legends. That sandwich is real spicy. I bet my Koridon will like a bite. And what ability, I, I'm hoping for a climb ability. I've been really hoping for that, but who knows? Yep, Koridon wants it, of course. No surprise there. Anjia? Uh, yeah, what happens if you say no? I'll share, but I so far I haven't said no. I've been too scared to say no. It'd be hilarious if it was like, well, he just skips out on learning this ability then. Boom. Very spicy. Cl yeah, I knew it. Gonna climb surfaces. I guess it's Mabostiff's turn then. Tell me this thing is gonna get some life in it. Holy cow. Maybe it's just we should get it put down for real. I mean, come on. Come on, bud, eat up. Well, you're not giving him the whole sandwich. That's the problem. It's gonna make you all better, I promise. Sea Dog and I, we really did our best to get this for you. We're gonna play with your favorite ball as much as you want, you know? Just like we used to. Please, get better. That's all I want, really. This is sad. This is so sad. <laughs> oh. See, there's a... Man, so sad. Dis... Dislike. <laughs> nah, it is what it is. Is it gonna be better or what? What's the deal? Or just no? Is this was all for nothing. Mabostiff? You did your best, bud. It really sucks that these sandwiches power up my Pokemon, but like do nothing basically for his Mabostiff. Oh, is this, is this the, oh. The ball. There you go. Oh. <laughs> This is making me sad because, you know, I had my cat, Otto, who got really sick with liver cancer and just went downhill pretty fast. And I would just like, I would just like looking for any, any hope. You know, just a sign that that life was coming back. <laughs> Hello, Z Dog. This is Seda.
It seems that Koridon has regained all of its powers except for the power to battle. It should now be able to climb up any vertical surfaces it grabs onto while you're riding upon it. Awesome. This is what I was looking for. This is awesome. I knew you were the right one to entrust it uh, to entrust it to Z Dog. Bah, listen to you like you had anything to do with it. That voice, Arvin, are you there? I've been searching for so long for a way to reach you because because no one else can get into my lab but you. Excuse me? Please take Z Dog back to the lighthouse with you, to the lab at, on Poco Path. I will reach out uh, once 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 more when you arrive there. Woof. All right, where, where are we going? When are we going? There might be like an in-game activity. I don't know. We'll find out. My boss is active again. I guess you probably already know, but that that's my mom. <laughs> All right. Always buried under her work, off pursuing her own research, never at home with me. That's the first time I've ever heard her voice in years, you know? And now what? The first thing I get is to be treated like some kind of errand boy? She's seriously unbelievable. But I'm guessing you and Karidan probably want to go, huh? Not gonna lie, I feel like my blood's boiling, but sure, fine. I'll get you into the lab. What else can I do? The lab is off Poco Path of the lighthouse where you and me first met. Come on, let's get moving before I change my mind. <laughs> There's some life. Mabastiv is active again. Can you ride Mabastiv? Or no? <laughs> Mom, where, where have you been all this time? All right, so I just gave, uh, I wanted to see how much experience an XL candy would do, so I gave A-Dog an XL. He's now level 50 and wants to learn the move Flamethrower. So let's see about this. Uh, I might need to upgrade some of my Pokemons with some of these uh, candies so that we're ready for next episode. Uh, I don't think we're going to go to the lighthouse this episode, though. But I, we'll see. I don't think so. Uh, so Flamethrower is a 9100. And it's a special. So we got to replace... What, what's the difference between these two? Inferno, Flamethrower, and Lava Plume. I think Lava Plume damages multiple Pokemon. So Flamethrower is more powerful, but only damages one. Typically, I'm just in one-on-one -on -one fights anyway. So I don't know what to do. <laughs> this one's cool because it boosts speed, but at the same time, it's so weak compared to 90. 90 is so good. I might just, instead of Flame Charge, although it does boost up its speed, which is pretty cool. Um... I might just go with flamethrower instead. What do you, what does he want to do? Let's see. Uh, what's the forget? So you're not gonna forget Psy Shock, dude. <laughs> you're, uh, well, why do you want to forget Psy Shock? Eighty. It's eighty. One hundred. That's such a good move. I think I'm gonna forget flame charge. I just. I mean, the the boost in speed is good, but I don't know. Let's just forget the flame charge. Sure. And there you go. So now this guy's level 50. Excellent. And then um, who else wants one of these? Let's give it to... Oops, I messed up. Let's give... Uh, H-Dog is one of the weaker ones. Let's give him an experience candy as well. He went to 51. Any, any new moves? Uh, Charm. Let's see what kind of move Charm could be. Charm, oh yeah, yeah, is lowers the attack stat. I mean, I already got play rough. All of these things have, this guy is multi-purposes, so I'm gonna just go ahead and not learn charm. Um, level 51, we could give, we could give the, the main dude, uh, my, my starter, give him one of those XLs. 53 now, wow, and I got these from the raid, by the way. Wants to learn the move knockoff. Let's see what knockoff is. It's a dark. Uh, compared to Night Slash, I mean, I don't think that's that's that great. I mean, it does get rid of their item, but I'm not really like looking forward to that. You know, that's not big enough for me to want to want to do that. I don't think. I think Slash is perfectly fine. So no. 
And then experience candy for uh, maybe... M maybe L Dog here. Give him one. He's 53 as well. Axe Kick. Yeah, sure. What, what's Axe Kick? That sounds cool. That's a fighting move. That's cool. That's 120 90. Um, but it can also confuse. If it misses, the user takes damage instead. That's such a an interesting thing. What do you want to do on this one? And what, he, he, what am I saying? You know, I, honestly, I think, I'm thinking about skipping it too. That's such a powerful move. I already have a fighting type as well, but that is such a cool move. Sucker Punch, 170, 180. That's also, Throat Chop is interesting. Sucker Punch is just a good one if I want to go first. First Impression is like way more useful than you would think. And then this Bug Bite's only 60. First impression doesn't work if so. I don't know what to get rid of. I guess I would maybe uh, get rid of suck, sucker punch, honestly, because the seventy. I do attack first with it, so that's kind of cool. But axe kick. A chance for me to be damaged myself. Now, if you look at the type charts right now, y you know I I'm a dark bug. So fighting is actually strong against dark. So that would actually hurt me pretty bad if I miss. So although it's a cool move, I'm gonna forget it because that would actually hurt me pretty bad if it did miss. Uh, let's, what about, what about, let's give another one to Raichu. 54. And then let's give the other one to h Dog. 55, awesome. We have large candies that we can give out too. Let's give uh, a dog three large candies. Excellent. Let's give him two more large candies. <laughs> 55. So we're getting everyone up to 55 at least. Two large candies. And then we'll reevaluate after this is done. 55 and then right you give him one all right so everyone's level 55 and I should be prepared to take on whatever's next I think uh, so we'll, we'll do that I still have more candies to give out I'll reevaluate where we are at the start at the end of next episode because we got one more fire base to take out so that's that's where we're at thanks for watching I'll see you goodbye I'm Zach Scott, subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and wanna help the channel grow, all you gotta do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop. Come back next time for more.